hormonal acne is completely confusing. Your estrogen goes up and down during your cycle. If you can't get rid of E2, estradiol, you end up getting all these side effects, but you need E2 to make your skin look good. When your E2 goes high, your testosterone is high. So we want estrogen, but we don't want more testosterone. But if you have estrogen, then you have more testosterone. When you're pregnant, you have E3, estriol. And when you're pregnant, your E3 is high, high, high. Push your estrogen higher while you're pregnant, making your skin glow because it's E3 and not E2. That a large section of the population cannot methylate well. Your MTHFR individuals out there never move E2 to E3 because you have to be able to methylate. What supplements can you take? If you take DIM, DIM reduces the amount of E2 and increases the amount of E3. If you're producing a toxic amount of E2, but it's still not high enough to get the skin effects, take DIM. Methylated folic acid. Look, if you're having high levels of estradiol and you're not breaking them down, then your skin is terrible. So you want to be able to methylate it so it moves from E2 to E3. Thus, you take a methylated folic acid. There. I'm super dizzy now.